everybody, it's Blake here with Gorilla Zen Fitness. In today's video, I'm gonna show you kind of a quick fix for most joint pain. Before I start the video, I wanna preface it by telling you to always consult your physician prior to doing any of the exercises that I talk about in my videos. And also, if you have any undiagnosed pain, it's always a good idea to uh, talk to a doctor about that first. With that being said, the technique that I'm gonna show you today is basically compression wrapping for joints. And uh, you know, this can really help out a lot of people, uh, a lot of people that have arthritis or you know, undiagnosed soft tissue injuries that kinda of cause uh, nagging pain, but they don't necessarily know what is causing it. This technique is really good for that. So basically what you do is you, really, you compress the joint really, really tightly using like a latex band and that's it. The benefits of doing that are threefold. One is that you wrap it so tightly that the uh, band compresses the joint and the muscles around the joint so much so that it provides you with myofascial release. So it releases the muscles and the connective tissues that attach and insert around the joint which when they get tight they can actually exacerbate joint pain. Two is it pushes out all the lymph and swelling out of the joint, kind of like squeezing a tube of toothpaste. It literally like pushes it out of the joint, clears up some of the inflammation in there and makes it you know, a little bit more lubricated. Third, it increases something called sliding surface area, which is basically the ability of your muscles, tendons, ligaments, nerves, and skin to all slide across each other uh, instead of getting glued down and stuck to one another, which is what frequently happens in old, you know, creaky joints that are painful. With that being said, let's get to it. All right, so this is basically a, uh, a voodoo band. I think that's what they call it. Um, it's basically just a latex band. I bought this from Rogue Fitness. Uh, but you can get latex bands from anywhere on the internet, really. Another way to do it is get a uh, tire and cut it and take the tube that's inside of it and cut that and uh, use that instead. But uh, if you wanna be a little bit more fancy, fancy you can buy uh, something like this from Rogue Fitness. But essentially what you do is you can do this to any joint, all right? Uh, Andy here, his knee hurt, so we're gonna wrap his knee. But remember, you can do this to your elbow, uh, shoulder, knee, or ankle. You can even do it to your wrist, okay? But uh, basically, here's the deal. You wanna straighten out the joint that you're wrapping, so you do the same thing with the elbow if you're wrapping that joint. Start underneath the joint itself, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna overlap across the band about 50%. So each time you go across about 50%, right? Like that, okay? And you do that consistently all the way up the joint. If you have leg hair, this can kind of hurt can uh, pull pretty hard on the leg here. But basically, start below the knee and work your way all the way up above the knee. You do the same thing on an elbow joint. So right now we're compressing all those muscles, like I said, we're literally pushing that fluid up. Oh, and another thing to note is you always wanna push uh, above, or uh, basically back to the heart. You don't wanna go down the leg or down the arm into the hand because that will make a bunch of blood pool into your extremities and you'll break a bunch of blood vessels. I've actually seen that happen. But basically, once you get the band on, you only wanna leave it on there for like a minute, okay? This is, I compressed it very, very tight and you need to do it very, very tight as well. And because of that, it actually cuts off circulation and nerve innervation, so you don't wanna leave this on for more than a minute. But what you wanna do once you get it on is you wanna move the joint as much as possible. So if it's on your elbow, you wanna flex and extend your elbow like this. If it's on your knee, you wanna flex and extend your knee as much as possible. So what I'm gonna have Andy do here is just bend the knee and now I'm gonna have him stand up and sit a bunch of times here. And uh, basically, if when you're doing this, you lose feeling in your extremities, your, uh, whether it be your arm or your foot or anything, take the band off because you are cutting off circulation. So uh, you know, don't leave this thing on for very long. A minute max. All right, that's good Andy, sit. And then basically extend the leg or the elbow, wrist, whatever it is, and take it off. You should notice instantaneous benefits, uh, you know, within 30 seconds of taking off the band. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe up here and give it a like down below. Also, like I said in my last video, if you wanna show me continuing support, you can also like my Facebook page. I'll include a link in the description down below for that. Other than that, I'll see you next time.